Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Shay. I'm Star. And in today's video, we made Belizean style comforters. comforters. So, if you want to learn how to make this Belizean comforters, just stay tuned. Yes. So while we're in the kitchen chefing it up, y'all. Today's drink is Kappa Cocktails Mojito. Mm, yeah, yes. All you gotta do is add ice and you ready to go. Yes, girl, pour me up, pour me up. Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all day. Me too. <laughs> Yum, I wish we had some mint for this. I know. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm Get the straw on, get the yeah. straw on. Okay. Awesome. I know these straws are obnoxious, but I love them. So, who cares? Cheers, girl. Yes. This is so oh good. God, this is good. It would have been so good with the mint. With the mint, yes. yes. <laughs> Guys, this is really good. I got this from the local liquor store by my house. And, oh my God. This is really good. It's refreshing. Like, I want to take this home. You take it home. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our drinks. It's nice and poured up, and we're gonna get to these comforters. We chefing it, it up. All right. So for the ingredients for these Belizean style comforters, we're going to, of course, need our conch. We're going to use some thyme, some ginger, cilantro green onions or scallions, okay. sweet peppers, celery, some Vidalia onion, and as for our dry seasonings, we're gonna use some salt, some pepper, and then because we don't have any habanero, we are going to be using some scotch bonnet sauce, and then also we have some flour, all purpose. And back in the day, you know, we used to have a grinder that we would grind up the conch and all the ingredients together, but we don't have that anymore. And as I was a kid, I used to watch my grandmother, you know, make conch fritters. And even my aunt, who, um, you know, God rest her soul, she passed away, she used to use a grinder to make the conch fritters. Um, but you know, I don't have one of those. It's really hard to come by a really good one. So we will be using a food processor. All right guys, so we're gonna jump right into it. For the first step of making conch fritters, we have one and a half pounds of conch that we washed and cleaned in some lemon water. And if you take a look at the conch, it has like this black type of film or skin on it. We're just gonna like trim away some of that, that color and peel off this film. I have two pieces that I'm just gonna show you how I clean it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that will show you how to clean it, but I'm gonna show you how I clean it. So I just usually trim away this like red piece here. In order to clean this, if you feel this texture here, it's kind of like rough a little bit. And I just take my paring knife and I go underneath the skin Borrow it underneath. I don't know if you guys can see that. And keep going. And I just wiggle that knife until it breaks away. And then I just peel off the skin. I just peel it because it's the easiest for me. You guys can see here. Because it wraps all the way around. I just peel away the conch skin, and that way you can save a little bit more meat of your conch. It's a little difficult, but like once you get the hang of it, like, you know, it gets a little bit better. Okay. Boom, and done. 
that was rough. That was rough, but we did it. We got it nice and clean. So at this part, usually you want to tenderize your conch, which usually happens within the grinder. Or um, you have like one of those meat tenderizers and you can bang it up a little bit. But because it's going right into the food processor, I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna clean up and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so now that the conch is nice and clean, you just wanna do a rough chop. Not like small, tiny pieces, just a rough chop because we're, we're gonna put it in the food processor. All right, so earlier I forgot to tell you guys, um, you're gonna need um, one and a half cups of water, which I just have there in a regular drinking glass. All right, um, so we're going to get to the food processor part of our video, and my lovely star is going to rejoin me. <laughs> okay, so we have all of our ingredients ready to put in the food processor, and I'm super excited to do this. What about you? Yes, because I love comforters. Yeah, me too. Me too. This is something that I've always had the luxury of eating when I was younger because my grandmother would make it mm -hmm. and my auntie that passed away made it and I remember right. the first time the first I had time, it right? yeah. she made it and it was so good so I fell in love with and I'm so happy to have it right now yes 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 so for this part guys we're not dumping everything in the processor at one time we're actually going to blend in increment um, and why is that? because you want everything to be like emulsified and chopped finely like evenly so you don't want to put like low overload your um food processor and then you have like big chunks of onion or super unchopped chunks of conch whatever the case may be you want okay. everything to be chopped okay. evenly. so i have the conch here that i just put some into the processor i have my vidalia onion this is one medium sized vidalia onion I have one celery chopped right here, and we're just gonna add a few pieces of this to the blender. Um, I'm gonna add some of the sweet pepper. Yeah. Just a disclaimer, y'all, I'm not a chef. Okay, this is just, this is just for fun. Right, um, I have some ginger here. I'm gonna put a little bit of ginger in here as well. Some Our cilantro. Culture. Oh, so the ginger was actually just a teaspoon of ginger that I chopped up. And I have some cilantro here. You can use your favorite herb, whatever herb you want to use. I'm using cilantro because I love cilantro. This is a tablespoon. Three sprigs of green onions or scallions. Yeah. We'll add that in. And we have some room temperature water right here that we're going to pour a little bit into the food processor to get all those like flavors emulsified and blended together nicely. It's going to smell so good. We pour some of that in there. We're going to add the lid. This is my ninja kitchen that I love so much. <laughs> Buy me one? Huh? Buy me one? I'm sorry, what? Buy me one? Buy me one? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I only want to pulse this for like yeah, pulse six it. to ten seconds. Pulse it. Pulse it. Um, per batch that you put in here. So I'm just going to hit this pulse. what it looks like so far for watery but you know that's okay you know um making this right now like, it just makes me think of like all the old memories that i have of like watching my elders like cook in the kitchen and you know it was just super fun it was such a fun time when i was younger mm -hmm. and i had like i never understood my culture when I was younger, I just knew that, you know, we were different in a sense, but I didn't really understand it. <laughs> it was like they speak different, like they just operate differently, so I just, I don't know. I never 
never really understood what being Belizean was or just like being from like an English what that really meant when I was younger. Mm -hmm. What about you? Because, I mean, you come from the same background as well. Right. So, my family's from Trinidad and Barbados. And, yeah, I thought it was just normal to me. You right. Know, we had accents. And some people, they can't understand my mom when she talks. <laughs> but I'm just like, how can you not? But, you know, it's normal to me because this is what I grew up with, you know? Right. Or even, like, being around, like, different West Indian people. Yeah, I can pick up on their accents. Some of them are hard though. Yeah. Some of them are hard, I'm not gonna lie. But, me, I'm I love being West Indian. Right, I'm gonna pause for a second. like batches or increments of you know processing the ingredients so we're gonna go ahead and do the rest off camera and then we'll come back when it's time to add the dry seasonings and the flour so see you in a bit okay so we have our conch and produce nice and blended a habanero pepper would have gone perfectly well <laughs> with these fritters but I, you know, in Manhattan, there's no habanero peppers in the supermarket, so I have a lovely bottle of Scotch Bonnet hot pepper sauce, which has great, amazing taste to it as well. So and it's spicy, just, so be careful, guys. It is spicy, so we're just gonna put a little like a teaspoon. I don't know if you guys can see what's dropping in this bowl. It's about a teaspoon. That's a little. That's enough. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I want to um, overpower it too much, but I just really want the, um, the taste. So we're going to take a dash of white pepper. Yes. And I'm use we're using, I'll be careful with that because it like, that'll make you sneeze. Um, All pepper makes you sneeze. No, that one will give you a sneezing attack. We're going to, I chose to use white pepper because I just don't want to see black pepper in my dish. So we're using white pepper and we're just going to do like a dash. But I'm gonna stand back for this. Oh, is there? Get closer. Get closer. Okay. How many dashes? That's it. <laughs> is that cereal? Oh, okay. Yeah, I smell it. You, yeah, you smell it, right? White pepper is strong. Okay. So, guys, in this jar, I have some really hot pepper sauce, Guyanese pepper. <coughs> See, there goes the first sneeze. <laughs> she was a lion. <laughs> wow. It's coming for you? I'm good. Okay. I have some Guyanese pepper sauce here that I'm just going to put a little dash in here because this, this pepper sauce is great. Um, so this is a tablespoon here, but as you can see, I just put a tip. Even this might be too much, so I'm just going to... Spicy? Oh, girl. Spicy is not the word, but it has like it so good though. great flavor to it as well. We're gonna put that much in there. Wow. I'm gonna do a dash of salt, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do one too. Mm, super fancy. This is Himalaya pink salt. A little fancy. Yeah. I'm putting more scotch bonnet pepper sauce. I'm sorry. Yay. I am sorry. I'm just gonna do it. That's what West Indians like though, right? If you it's smack spice. me with your hair one more freaking time. Uh, <laughs> I did enough. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that all the ingredients are nice and mixed in and incorporated, we're going to add our flour. Flour time. Now what does this do? This binds everything together so that when you put it in your oil, it's not separating and turning into like an oily mush. 
Okay. And you, you know, you have to use all-purpose flour, by the way. If you look closely, you'll see that it's starting to come together nicely as you add more flour. Mm -hmm. Getting it really thick. a whole entire one and a quarter cup and if you take a look into my bowl the consistency is thick nice and thick I'm gonna let this sit for a little while we're gonna get the stove going with the oil and we'll be back okay so for this part we're going to start our pot of oil I just have my flame on medium right now and we're going to fry these tasty fritters in some avocado oil. Is there a reason why you chose to use avocado oil? Um, so I don't fry in vegetable oil. First of all, I don't, I don't fry, period. Um, right. The reason why I'm using avocado oil is because it has a higher smoke point. So, it fries nicely. Um, it's healthy. It's healthy, it doesn't give you all those nasty fumes. And honestly, y'all, like you're not supposed to fry with olive oil. So, if you take a look in the pot here, you can see I just have it about a quarter inch full. I don't like to overuse oil because I really don't have anywhere to store it once it's, you know, finished. Yes, I hate that. Yeah, don't you? This is why I don't fry. Like, yeah, I hate frying. I don't like to fry. Do you like test your oil? Yes, you do test oil. To test the oil, I'm just gonna take a little bit on the spoon and drop it in there. Drop it in, so it's not ready. No. I'm gonna go over to the other side of the counter, prepare a plate with a with some paper towel to put the fritters on once it's done frying. So catch all that grease dripping off. Okay, so I'm starting to get some sizzling with the first little tiny piece of fritter that I dropped in. So when you do your fritters, you want to get a spoon, a tablespoon, and just scoop up some and plop it in the pot. And show you what we have here in the pot. Okay, this is the heat. It is on medium. You want to get you a tablespoon. And how long on each side? You want it to like, you know, I really just pay attention to it getting like golden brown on like yeah. the edges. Like a minute. Like maybe? you see that one right there in the corner, the little tiny tester. Right, it's brown. So if you take a look at this one right here, you see how it's like golden brown on the side. This one is ready to flip. Go ahead and let these fry up a little bit. So, so far, these are the finished comforters. Nice and golden brown. Yeah, they look so yummy. They are so tasty. Look at those guys, those are so yummy. Look. Okay guys, so for this part, we're going to make our dipping sauce, which is just some mayo, some ketchup, some cilantro, and some lemon juice. Okay, Star, so you can go ahead and just squeeze some mayo in there while I flip the fritters on this side. Okay. Such a good amount, nothing crazy. Then I'm gonna pour some ketchup. And I just wanna put the disclaimer out there. There's no measurements with this sauce because it's really to taste how you like it. So if you like a sauce that's more mayo than ketchup, then you go ahead and do that. If you like one that's more ketchup than mayo, go ahead and do that. If you like a 50-50, go ahead and do that. Um, you wanna mix that? Oh, why are you using a knife? I hate when you do that. I just squeezed some lemon juice in it. I'm gonna go ahead and more. Okay, and as she's doing that, 
I'm just gonna ball up cilantro in my hand and like just chop that with my scissor in there. Let's, um, let me give it a taste. Right. I'm gonna taste it and see. That's good, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you're so good. Uh, I'm so happy we made these. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, so eating. Guys. <laughs> super tasty. Mm -hmm. We get like nice bites of conch in here. Guys, stay tuned. <laughs>